There had been two strong earthquakes just before 8.32 a.m. on May 18th. The bulge could stand no more, and as it broke loose and thundered down the mountain, it did so with a speed that kept millions of tons of earth airborne for the first several hundred yards. Earth propelled by an explosive force equal to that of a hydrogen bomb. picture. I'm walking towards the only light I can see on top of a ridge. I can hear the mountain behind me rumbling. It's an enormous mud and water so I came down and washed out the road. I never really thought I'd believe this or, or say this, but at this moment, I honest to God believe I'm dead. Do you think there's a possibility from what you saw up there today that anyone can still survive? I'm not an expert in that field, but I would say no. Well, you got our water. All the water I saw was very bad shape. As far as wildlife or any anything green, there wasn't. There is no. It's desolate completely. Very hot, steamy. I was not prepared for what I saw. Awesome. I just sat down and right there I, I prayed. I said, God, if you want us out, bring us out today. If not, then maybe I'll see you today and I'll see you in heaven. And I knew that those choppers were going to come down from the left from the top of the hill. And sure enough, about five minutes later, there they came. And I'll tell you, they looked like angels of mercy. There is a disease called silicosis that comes uh, from people who breathe this over a long period of time. Uh, we just don't know enough about that. We don't know enough about this particular ash and its effect on health so far to be able to judge that. There was fear and there was death on Dark Sunday when the day turned pitch black at noon. A day followed by Ash Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. With that one picture, you have a perfect idea of what the people of Yakima, Washington are dealing with today. When the black cloud drifted by, it left them with millions of tons of this volcanic ash that settled over their community and inundated it. And it sticks. And what do you do with it? It's everywhere. The cleanup job is simply overwhelming. The people here seem to be handling it with good humor so far, but it requires no brilliance to figure out that this whole mess is going to wear on the good people of Yakima. Much of Grant County, Washington is a moonscape, and it will be for some time. The agricultural damage around Moses Lake alone will undoubtedly run in the scores of millions. I've got about $400,000 crop damage that I can see right now. Uh, every time the wind comes up, this, and, uh, this stuff will just blow again. Yeah. It's just... The words of encouragement we've heard from agricultural experts have come from people who have not seen the devastation in the far interior. This area has been sealed off because of the constant blinding wind-blown ash storms that made driving next to it. There are some 30,000 people in and around Moses Lake, and this is what most of them are doing and will be doing. There is something basically oppressive about the wind and the dust and the grayness of it all when it settles in and takes hold of you and appears as though it's just never going to end. And as a matter of fact, for the people of Moses Lake, it could be a whole summer of this ahead of them. You don't envy them.